Hello and welcome. My name is Amuli and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your domain name on Facebook. So you can see I've already verified a few domains. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the metadata from Facebook to your WordPress site and then also to your Shopify store. It could be WooCommerce or similar CMS. So let me quickly log into my Shopify admin. Okay, so to verify your domain, you simply go to business.facebook.com and then under brand safety, you click on domains. So first you need to add the domain. So click on this add and I'm going to take this domain here. So Facebook doesn't require you to have HTTP or HTTPS. You just type your domain name without HTT and HTTP. Let's just paste in here like that and hit add. Now to verify this particular domain or any domain, you got few options copy paste this meta name to your head section of a website it could be wordpress joomla drupal magento shopify whatever you have so go ahead and just click on it and paste in your shopify or wordpress head section the other option you have you can verify E by downloading this HTML file to your server or verify your domain with text record on your domain registrar but this is the very easiest one most of people can do it so I'll be using this first one Just copy this by clicking it and then follow the instruction paste this the meta tag into your head section of website so after you publish your home page okay verify click this verify domain button so I will already have copied it I will show you how you can put it to your WordPress theme so go ahead and log into your WordPress appearance theme editor most of themes have this theme.header basically theme header file which is header.php if you do not have access to your themes I'll paste that meta tag here and then click up update file see most of the theme many themes don't have this feature okay this is basically let's say it's a classic theme very old theme uh, in that case you will have to install a plugin header footer plugin and these plugins will let you add your meta tag to your head section of wordpress or woocommerce site so header footer it's very easy uh, to install and so basically header footer script basically if you don't find it to so be more specific or header footer tags be header footer code manager so easily add tracking code snippets conversion pixels and other things this is good so if you can, the other one is here by WP beginner so just type in header footer script or tags and you will find plenty of free themes to add so basically what you want you want to go with the basic plugin which doesn't offer more than header footer so there are many plugins that will offer lots of things and that may slow down your uh, wordpress or woocommerce site so you don't want to install a plugin with lots of features 
okay so once you're done here either way either using a plugin or manually going through the PHP file if you're using any cache plugin make sure you simply clear your cache so I just cleared my cache here and just hit your domain name in the browser so that it, it can pull up things and clear cache on your home page as well and then click on verify what I will do I'll just copy this again so that I can show you how you can add the same code to your Shopify theme but we will not be able to perform all these steps you can see it says it's already verified if you have a Shopify store go ahead and log into your Shopify admin click on online store and then click on actions edit code one thing to note though if you're using like adding directly to the theme like I have done you will have to make sure that you are kind of migrate the meta tag to a new theme if you're switching to a new theme all right so this is the head section starting in summer below it's going to end so we don't want to go that below in the script we just want to paste it here and save it okay but this is just for demonstration for for shopify users so simply log into your Shopify admin, go to themes, um, actions, edit code, and click on this uh, theme.liquid and add just after this head section. I'm going to remove this one. Once you have added here, you go back to your Facebook settings, business settings page, and click on verify domain, and you should be getting something like this. Alrighty, so that's it for this video guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.